Hi, we're on Northeast Morris at about MOK and uh, we just unveiled our new lower speed limit for about 70 miles of greenways within the city of Portland and greenways are those quiet neighborhood streets uh, for that are prioritized for biking, prioritized for pedestrians, uh, they're the neighborhood streets uh, that should be quiet already. We've now lowered the speed from 25 to 20 thanks to uh, some help from some great leaders in the state legislature and it's very exciting. So a pedestrian struck by a, a vehicle traveling 30 miles per hour has a 60% chance of survival. A pedestrian struck by a vehicle traveling 20 miles per hour has a 95% chance of survival. But certainly anything we can do to make uh, routes safer for pedestrians and bikes is one step towards making sure we have safer alternatives so, so we can reduce our dependency on fossil fuels. In my case, this, my involvement in this began after uh, meeting with some constituents who were really frustrated with uh, uh, safety in their, uh, their neighborhood in the Foster Road area. We held a, a, a neighborhood event that over 100 folks came out to just to talk specifically about um, speeds, cyclists, pedestrians, injuries, deaths, and what could be done about it. And from that came, uh, there was great city participation there, and from there came the, uh, my collaboration with uh, the city and, and the senators on this bill. Uh, really exciting to see bills come to fruition. We pass legislation from time to time, and you know, it's, it's rare that you get a day like this where you get to really see in a very tangible way uh, the effects and, and know that it's making making a difference. And since my role now is as an education advisor, I do want to underscore the connection this has for schools. So many of the uh, greenways that are described on this map uh, were designed with schools in mind to create safer routes for students to walk or bike to schools. And this is just an additional tool to improve the likelihood that they're gonna to get to school safely. And I think that's just one of the very most important things we can be doing as communities for education. Thanks. Yeah.